15 minutes to preach or 15 minutes to minister or 15 minutes to pray, and I believe you'll be all right. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Go with me to the Gospel according to John, 12th chapter, beginning with verse number 37. Amen. Gospel according to John 12, beginning with verse number 7. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the King James Version reads as such. It says, but though he had done so many miracles from before them, yet they believe not on him. That the saying of Isaiah, the prophet, might be fulfilled, which he said, Lord, who hath believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Amen. We want to use for a thought today from verse 38. Who hath believed our report? So we want to talk about reports and opinions, choices and callings. Say that with me. Say reports and opinions. Choices and callings. Callin'. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. You may be seated in the presence of our life changing King Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. We also want to greet all those that are on Facebook Live. We give God glory for all of you that tune in each week with us. Hallelujah. We trust that God will bless you accordingly. Hallelujah. Reports and opinions, choices and callings. Uh, most of us, uh, sometimes we get caught between two opinions. Are y'all with me? And the Bible even says that how long will you be caught between the two opinions? Amen. And the thing about an opinion, opinion is something that's full of doubt. Amen. A report is something that's operating in full of faith, but an opinion is something that's full of doubt. We must always remember that God makes reports. He doesn't make opinion. God makes reports. Amen. Whatever God say is fact, it's truth. Amen. But a lot of times we, 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 we hear things from people, but it don't be a report. It simply be their opinion. And you have to be careful with listening to other folk opinion because it'll get in the way of the report of the Lord for your life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, what is a report? A report is to give an account or to answer or, or to relate or to tell. An opinion is, is basically someone's theory or idea or thoughts about a thing. Are y'all with me? It's their theory, but it's not the truth. Uh, the opinion is the judgment of the mind form uh, when someone has to uh, decide or make a decision uh, about a thing. That's it. opinion. Opinions are full of doubt, but reports are full of faith. Numbers 13 and 26. Go there with me. I'm, all, I'm halfway down. Numbers. 13 and 26. Now stay here with me because I need you to understand and see what God is doing, what's happening right here. Numbers 13 and 26. It says, And they went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran to Kadesh and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him and said, We come unto the land whither thou sentest us, and surely it floweth with milk and honey. Remember that floweth with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. Giants. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, and the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. Y'all see that? Amen. That's a report of the Lord. But but, verse 31, but the men, come on somebody, but the men that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land, which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, the land through which we have
have gone searching in the land eateth up the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. Amen. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. Amen. We find here two things working. We find the report of the Lord working, and we also find the opinion of people. Are y'all with me? And we have to be careful to always remember to, to re believe the report of the Lord. But you can't believe the report of the Lord if you never heard the word from the Lord. Oh, come on, somebody. So you can't expect folk to believe what you believe because they haven't heard what you heard. Oh, come on, somebody. I said something like that. They haven't heard what you heard. Amen. Now, one thing I, I do know is that the Bible believes in Those that did not believe and had an evil report died. Life and death is in the power of the tongue, my brothers and sisters. Watch what you're saying. Come on, somebody. Because words have life. Amen. Now let's talk about choices and callings for a minute. Choices and callings. We're familiar with making choices because we make choices all the time. We make choices every day. We make good choices sometimes, but we have to make the things that we want to say that ain't right. Do the things that they don't look right, but do the same way. Amen. Amen. That's real. Some of y'all can't say it. Just sit down. Amen. 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 Amen.
in here now. Reports and opinions. Thank you. 
to live in on the opinion of others, your family, and even yourself, and not the purpose of the power that God has in your life. Your opinions are vain. You way too involved, or you're way you give too much credence to what other folks think of you. You give way too much credence to what other people think of you. To the degree that it will cause you even heartache and pain. Get out of the cycle of making the bad choices. The reason you keep making the bad choices is because you don't really know the plan God has for your life. He has a plan to prosper you. Amen. And if you don't know that plan, then you're going to be working against that plan. Hallelujah. Come on, you in here. You've been making bad choices, and it seems like it's a domino effect. And you need to get out of that cycle of making these bad choices that are causing even hell in your house, confusion in your mind. Come on. Mm-hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Some of you out here, are, you're confused about your calling. You don't know if you're called or chosen, and you need to try to find out which one you are. Hallelujah. Because there is a difference in calling and chosen. Hallelujah. Some of you ministers are struggling with that. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're struggling with your, your calling, your choosing. One thing I've discovered in this time of pastoring is that as a pastor, I'm not, it's not my business to show you your way in God. Folk look to the pastor, looking for him to tell them what they should be doing. No, God's going to tell you what you should be doing. I'm just here to help you do what it is he's given you to do. Amen? Hallelujah. One thing I, I want to say this personally in my life is that if I put people in my life that are not Thank you. 
God has given marriage for our benefit. Amen. And wives, continue to honor your husband. I mean, let me help you out with this too, ladies. Sometimes your man going to make mistakes because he's not perfect. But even in his mistakes, you still got to be his wife. It says, for better or for worse. Come on, somebody, richer or for poor. Amen. Maybe someone here today never received Jesus. We'll give you an opportunity to come as well. And uh, there's somebody here that needs to join church today. We don't know if you will, but you, you ought to join. Amen. Because you need a place to belong. You need a pastor. I don't care who you are. Whatever Christian, you need a pastor. You need... You need someone that can lead and guide you. Amen. You can't get there on your own. You need a church family. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Well, God bless you. God be with you. I believe we got some um, fish fish going on, so if you ain't got to go buy nothing else, you can go back there and buy some fish from the cases.